getting that two hand dribble dunk today. Let's go. dunk yesterday kind of warm up but yesterday I was feeling it and I went a little bit extra but I think it was really good and now today I'm just gonna get that one two hand dribble dunk feeling great um, yesterday had a level up day where I felt really good off the dribble really good two hands had some really good jumps off two hands off the dribble which is really tough for me and now today the difference from other times I've been here is that I'm gonna hit it today and I was thinking that before I came to the session like it'd be great if I hit it but I'm gonna hit it and I feel like yesterday was like a, a blueprint of how today's gonna go. I'm doing like the same exact warm up. And yesterday I was jumping with less effort, like to try to work on my slow approach. So now I feel like I got my approach. And today I use a little more speed, get up a little higher, and get it. to go faster it was a terrible jump I was definitely off balance and sideways and my foot twisted it black That's how you freaking do it right there. First time I've ever done that. Double check and it's recording. I've been trying that dunk for years. Even though it's not 10 feet, it's 9-11. Whew, I cannot believe I got it right now. It's 9-11, but it's a tough rim. I've always had a lot of trouble with it. And I've had more trouble with it than some 10 foot rims, because some 10 foot rims, whatever, you get the point. Huge goal for me. Let's go. I visualized it, I swear. That's all I did this morning is I'm gonna get it. And I just kept seeing it and my attempts were better than ever today for no reason. Because yesterday I went harder than I thought I should. And I thought I had less energy, but I had energy. Let's go. I got two angles of that thing. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one right now. Or I'm just gonna have fun now. Let's go. It's just the power of belief. And I'm telling you this as a person that was skeptical because it, I'm realistic and I'm logical and I try to put the work in and have the results follow, but you really have to see it first. And this is me showing you firsthand that the only difference in my training has been me truly trying to believe and see myself achieving that. And I did it. And Yes, I went yesterday and I've done that before, but like the fact that I felt the need to really go hard yesterday and level up on that rim, because I've leveled up on that rim before, but I've never had that much of a breakthrough. Um, 
led to today and today I was thinking I would have less energy because I kind of went extra yesterday but I still believed I would get it today because I had it in my head from yesterday's session like the approach the takeoff the finish it all felt better yesterday so if I back rimmed it on this rim before yesterday's accomplishments that today I can get it if I went hard and I got it and it was like I don't even know what else to say but just coming from someone who's you know is skeptical because I've been always skeptical of seeing it first and trying to achieve things and believe in them because it's hard to believe in them when you haven't done them yet. It's, for me, it's like it's so much easier to believe I can do things when I see some results first, but you have to do it the other way around. Now I've learned. So now I feel like I've unlocked the secrets, <laughs> but I'm feeling great. I cannot believe I still got it. I still have a lot of work to do, but the one thing I'm proud of is I hung on the rim a lot, a lot of times. Like I didn't even come close after I got it once. That's because all my adrenaline went away quick, but I hung on the rim a bunch of times and um, I definitely have a lot of work to do to get that more muscle memory more solid. So every jump is my best jump, but I haven't even been able to back rim that many. So today was a phenomenal day and much more to come and go get it. I don't care how long it takes. It took me forever to get that one dunk and you can do it if you want it. Bad enough. Dunk life, baby, let's go. Yo, I just finished a podcast number 43 about this vlog and how my mindset set shifted and how I was able to accomplish that. And it was just, it was a big shift in my life of my belief becoming stronger and my, skeptic, my skepticism turning to belief. I can't barely talk, but check that out if you can because it was really inspiring to myself and I feel like it'll really be helpful to you to believe in your goals first and then the, the abilities will follow. So, <laughs> see ya. <laughs>